Have you ever felt like you possibly wanted just a little bit more out of your headset? Maybe you want a bit more customization, or maybe you want to delve into the realm of unofficial apps. Well, what is up everyone, I'm Mystical, and today's video is going to be all about that. I'm going to show you one simple way that you can get all of that onto your headset and so much more, whether you're using the Quest Pro, Quest 2, or Quest 3. So let's jump right into the video. Now, I know that we've made similar videos in the past. However, things get updated, new headsets come out, and people are looking for new tutorials. So for those of you that aren't yet sure on how to do this, we're going to use an application called SideQuest. However, we're actually going to put SideQuest not on our computer, but onto our headset itself. This will allow you to basically have a secondary app store on your Quest without the need to ever plug into a computer again, which sounds fantastic, and trust me, it is. It's also going to give you access to a whole ton more Quest homes so that you can customize your Quest home right now. Now, before we begin, you will actually need to enable developer mode for this to work. It's just something that needs to be done anytime you're installing any third party application onto your Quest. So do make sure you have that enabled inside your Quest app in case you don't yet. But just in case you don't want to enable developer mode, but still want to customize your home a little bit, let me show you a quick method that you can customize your Quest home with without the need to install SideQuest or enable enable developer mode. As Meta recently added an update to your Quest where you can jump right into your Quest settings and change the background of your current Quest home, essentially allowing you to put any 360 image that you want on there, including one of your room, if that's something you feel like doing. Maybe making it feel a little bit more like an actual home. Or, you know, you can put something completely random there. Okay, but now with that out of the way, let me show you the method that is going to give you full control over your device, customization, and unofficial apps. So again, make sure you have that developer mode enabled. And once you do, you are going to require some form of a computer. This supports both Mac OS X and Windows. So hopefully most of you will be sorted. You will only require this once. So in case you don't have one, you can always borrow one from a friend, hopefully. Then what you will want to do is you will want to follow the link that I will have for you down below. This is a link to SideQuest's website. You will want to go to download SideQuest and download the simple installer. The advanced installer is for if you ever wanted to use the PC version of SideQuest, which is more advanced. The simple installer will actually install SideQuest right onto your Quest. Once you've done this, you can launch SideQuest. Then what you will want to do is you will want to plug your Quest headset into your computer using a USB Type-C cable. Once you've done this, a prompt might appear inside your headset to authenticate the computer. Press always allow. If the pop-up never appeared, just launch SideQuest and follow the instructions that show up on the screen in front of you. This should only take a few seconds. And once it's done, SideQuest will be installed onto your headset. That's it, you're done. You don't need a computer ever again, unless of course you wanna do some fancy stuff. Now you can unplug your headset from your computer and let's jump into virtual reality so that I can show you what you can do from here. Now that we're inside the headset, you will want to go to all apps, go up to the top right here, press on filter, and then select unknown sources. As you can see, I have other apps in my unknown sources right now, but the one you want to select is SideQuest. Now that you've launched SideQuest, you will need to link it over to your SideQuest account. So in case you don't have one, you're going to need to create one. You're going to need another device for this, so you can use a phone, or as a matter of fact, I'm fairly sure you can use the Quest's browser. Then once you have your account created, you will need to go to the website that SideQuest is telling you to go to, sdq.st forward slash link. Then log in to your SideQuest account and type in the code that the Quest is giving you. This will link your SideQuest account and the SideQuest app on your Quest together, allowing you to download stuff in the app itself. Once you launch SideQuest, it'll ask you to accept a few permissions. So make sure to allow it access to anything that it might need as, you know, it needs to store data, it needs to be able to install apps. Then you will be thrown right in to the SideQuest unofficial app store. These are all the apps that developers have decided to put on SideQuest instead of going through the Oculus store. And here you can find a ton of really good games, including QuestCraft, which currently doesn't yet have an official public version out for the Quest 3. 
So if you have a Quest 3, they have a Patreon version that is a little bit buggy, but hopefully very soon they will be out for a version on Quest 3 that I will be able to show you guys how to install. Installing SideQuest onto your headset now could make that much easier in the future. For now, however, you're free to browse all of these unofficial apps. And if you want to install one, you just press on it and press side load. That is it. That is how simple it is. Once the app downloads, SideQuest will probably ask you to allow installing apps from SideQuest. So you just have to tick this right here, press the back arrow. You might need to press side load again, or it'll just ask you to install. And that's it. Now that app will appear under your unknown sources tab, just like SideQuest did earlier. And when you launch it, it'll launch just like a normal VR game. So that is one of the nice benefits of having SideQuest right on your headset. You do not have to plug your headset into your computer every single time you want to install an unofficial app. So that's great. But a lot of you might be here for the Quest Homes. And in SideQuest, you actually get to browse through a huge library of Quest Homes that you can install right there through the app. To do that, you want to press up in the top left here, select custom homes, and here you go. There's a massive library of Quest homes right there for you to install. So let me show you how to do that, even though that is also really, really easy. Just select the home that you want and press side load. Well, then once that is installed in the exact same way that you would install an application, you want to go into settings, home environments, and that home environment should be showing up on the list right here. I'm actually really happy that they fixed this as there was an issue when the latest version came out in the past where we'd have to replace a Quest home with a custom home, but now they're actually showing up additionally, which is absolutely fantastic. There is also Moon Home that you can get from the Quest store, but this one's paid in case you want more custom homes and customizable Quest homes as well. It seems pretty nice, but you can't just download the Quest store version in order to install these homes. You will actually require Moon Home installer in order to install them, which is an additional APK that you have to get from their website and install that using SideQuest. And it doesn't seem to be on SideQuest itself, so you need to install it through the computer. So you need the advanced installer version of SideQuest, from SideQuest website, and you need the APK of Moon Home Installer, and then you connect your Quest to your computer and install Moon Home Installer APK through SideQuest to your Quest. This is a little bit more confusing and complicated, but the nice benefit here is you seem to be able to generate AI skyboxes and you can also customize your home, which is not something that is possible in a normal Quest home, which seems really nice. This video is not sponsored by them. I just thought it was something really cool as it's something I wanted from the PC version over to the Quest version since the longest time but Meta hasn't given it to us yet. We can't actually, you know, move stuff around, move furniture around, customize our Quest homes inside the Quest environment. So Moon Home did it. And I think that's really cool. Either way though, that is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully I could help you guys out. Hopefully you get a bit more customization and a bit more freedom on your devices now. And this will work on any Quest device that you have, whether it's the Quest 2, Quest Pro or Quest 3. So you're all good there, no matter which device you have. In case you have any issues, check out our Discord down below and feel free to ask any questions on there or in the comments section, whichever way you feel like it. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night. And thank you so, so much to the Patreon supporting this channel. You guys are amazing. Seriously, much love. As usual, if you guys want to be notified of future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace. I guess we're doing this.